Hello friends, this video on neat current electricity is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay. Now moving ahead to the next topic which is drift velocity of electrons. So what, do, what is drift velocity? So it is the average velocity with which free electron are drifted towards the positive end of conductor under the influence of electric field. Now let's say that this is a conductor okay and you have electrons inside the conductor okay now when you apply an electric field so let's say that we applied an electric field e so what happens all the electrons inside the conductor so these electrons they get drifted that means they start moving slightly towards the positive end of the conductor under the influence of this electric field so until and unless you do not apply this electric field the electrons do not get drifted but the moment you apply electron electric field the electrons get drifted in the opposite direction of the applied electric field so if the applied electric field E is in this direction then the electrons will get drifted in this direction with a velocity which is the drift velocity so the direction of drift velocity of electron is always opposite to the direction of the applied electric field and how do we calculate drift velocity? So drift velocity of electrons is given by E E tau by M where E is the charge on an electron, capital E is the applied electric field. What is tau? Tau is the relaxation time and m is the mass of electron so what is relaxation time so it is the time interval between two successive collisions of electrons with positive ions because the moment you apply an electric field there are so many electrons inside the conductor and when they start drifting they also uh, experience collisions so the time interval between two successive collisions of electrons with positive ions that is called relaxation time and how do we calculate relaxation time so relaxation time tau is equal to lambda divided by V RMS where lambda refers to the mean free path of electrons and V RMS refers to the root mean square velocity of electrons. Now you might ask what is mean free path? It is the average distance that is travelled by an electron between two successive collisions. So between the two collisions, whatever distance it travelled, that is the mean free path. Now what happens is normally as temperature increases, so when, you, when the environment is heated up, the RMS velocity also increases and as a result, the relaxation time reduces. So that's how the relaxation time or tau varies with increase in temperature. So you can just remember this, as temperature increases, RMS velocity increases because when the temperature increases normally also the mobility of the particles increases right so that means you can remember that velocity of electrons also increases and as a result because here you see they are inversely proportional so tau decreases okay so that was about the relaxation time tau so now as we saw that drift velocities expression in terms of relaxation time is this one now if you want to uh, establish a relationship between drift velocity and current how would you do that so we know that current is nothing but charge per unit time so the average current would be delta q by delta t so how can you write this so delta q can be written as so what is Q? Q is nothing but Ne. Charge can also be written as Ne where N is the number of charge carriers and E is the charge on an electron. Because if you have 10 electrons, so you basically have 10 charge carriers. So 10 multiplied by the charge on one electron would be the total charge, right? Because charge on one electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. But if you have 10 electrons, so 10 multiplied by the charge on each electron would be the total charge inside that conductor so similarly here in this case what would be the total charge flowing inside that conductor that would be equal to ne that is number of charge carriers into the charge on each electron multiplied by the volume of this entire conductor and how would you calculate the volume 
So the volume would be equal to cross sectional area. So let's say that the cross sectional area of this conductor is A. So cross sectional area A multiplied by the length of the conductor. So this is the length of the conductor. So this length is how much? This length is basically this total distance. And we know that distance is equal to speed into time. So speed here is the drift velocity. Correct? And let us say, we, right now we are talking about time delta t. So let's say that the time is delta t. So the length of the conductor is Vd into delta t. So this divided by delta t. So delta t, delta t will get cancelled. Therefore, current is equal to MEA Vd. So this is the relationship between current and drift velocity. Now you can also write it in terms of current density. So current density would be current per unit area. So that would be J. So here also this will get divided by A. So therefore you will have MEVD. So current density is equal. This is the relationship between current density and drift velocity. This is the relationship between current and drift velocity. So see these are some expressions which help you in easier calculations when you are solving numericals and if you are more worried about the concept we have explained them in detail in the regular videos of physics of class 11th and 12th on examhere.com. Okay so now this was all about the drift velocity of electrons. Let us now quickly talk about mobility of electrons. That is how much mobile is the electron? How much can it move? So mobility of an electron is drift velocity per unit electric field. So mobility is generally denoted by mu. So mu is equal to drift velocity per unit electric field. So how do we measure mobility? The unit to measure mobility is meter square per volt second. So how do we get this unit? Okay, so how, what is the unit for measuring with drift velocity? It is meter per second. And what is the unit to measure electric field? So electric field is nothing but uh, volt per meter, right? So this would be volt per meter. So from this you get meter square per volt second. So that's how you get this unit. So what would be the expression for mobility? Mobility is equal to E tau divided by M. And how, how did we get that? Because drift velocity is equal to E E tau by M and this entire thing divided by E. So E and E will get cancelled. So mobility of electron is given by charge on an electron multiplied by the relaxation time divided by mass of an electron. So that's how we measure mobility of electrons. Now if you keep these formulae handy that might be helpful for easier calculations. But yes as long as you remember the concept you know you do not need to memorize because you know from how, how do you derive them. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.